solitude. Oxygen, let's go. Mmm. Oh, my back. One day I heard noises as if something was calling me. The noise pointed directly at my heart. And like an illness, it took control of my entire being. Oh, prologue. Embryo, unable to find the desire to live. Looking at a stinking city deep into an abyss with no furniture, I struggle to find oxygen. No idea what type of game this is. It might be a visual novel. I woke up from a strange vision. I'm still in my apartment. Chill out with this one. Safe. Alone. I find it hard to breathe. The air in my lungs has vanished. But after a while... Everything calms down. Eventually it goes back to normal. My mind is fuzzy though, and my throat is completely dry. Drink some water. Oh, is this my, this is me making a choice? Drink some water, I can make choices. I take a few sips from the bottle next to my bed. But with each one, I feel a faint wave of nausea rising from my stomach. Since my body is still sore, I try to take one more sip. The nausea only increases, forcing me to stop. Bothered by this sensation, I decide to get up. Well, we got her up at least. <laughs> we got her up. The art's very nice. When things get too rough, I call him. Who's that? It depends on when the realization crashes down on me. He's dead. After all. I can only feel at ease by talking to him. Oh. Hi. Am I bothering you? I always answer your calls with pleasure. I'm happy to hear that. What's happening? I had a nightmare. The usual one. I see. Have you tried to explore it more? Why should I do that? So that you can understand it better. Okay. This is a weird... And maybe you'll understand yourself better, too. I don't know. It scares me too much. I think it's to be expected. You probably just need more time. This audio is creepy as hell. Let me turn this up if you guys can't hear it. Alright. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, though? My head has been hurting since I had that dream. It feels like it's etched on my mind. This day has me start has started awfully. Don't think about it too much. I'm here for you. Just go through your day. Is this her therapist though? Or is this somebody who's not good for her basically? That, you know, we shouldn't be supporting. Don't be afraid. Easy for you to say. Ah, sorry. I didn't want to be rude to you. I'm just tired, that's all. Don't worry, I understand that. I really need to do like two voices, right? When I'm reading out like this. Oh, well, I should really get ready now. This is really the first text heavy one we've played today, though. You've got to hit one. Chapter one, deep burial. I saw a meadow lark flying. I envied its freedom and desired to crash it between my fingers. Crash it. Now I observe it trapped in a cage on my balcony. I understand the truth of the human condition. As I look at myself in the mirror, I notice that something has slightly changed. It's a small detail, almost impossible to be perceived. But today I'm paler than usual. Oh, she's at her job. My skull is crumbling. My nerves are melting. My spirit is sinking. Yet I still have to work. <laughs> we know that feeling. Everybody knows that feeling. Sometimes it is, seems everything has been dep uh, deprived on of purpose. This city, the entire world, are similar to an empty glass. Sooner or later, 
Everything will be submerged. The mumblings in the background are cool. When we'll reach the point of no return, water will swallow everything. It will erase all of us. All these buildings we live in. All the stuff we surround ourselves with will be engulfed. All that will be the end. And how come, how can I be hopeful and positive? How can I believe that things will change? The world that surrounds me, it's humanity. It's nothing more than a savage and selfish single being. All these people, their houses, their belongings will one day disappear. And I too will reach the same ending. We have been committing a mass suicide by our own choice. It's been going on for years. So why should we stop it now? In virtue of what humans, of what sh in virtue of what should humans abandon their sinking progress? As I envision cities abandoned deep in the dark abyss, my head explodes. My heart stops. Breathing becomes a struggle. I could throw up any minute. Yeah, I'm still here in the office. I have to keep working. And after that, get lunch with a colleague, forced to swallow all the fears that trouble me. Very, very existential fears. Everybody that's not an idiot feels this, right? Anybody that understands the, the futility of, of, of everything, everybody that understands the heat death of the universe, everybody that doesn't believe in a higher power or doesn't believe that there's a higher power looking out for you and therefore create some kind of afterlife, I think goes through the same thing where you just look into the abyss, right? It's the same thing. Uh, we've started working here the same day. We've known each other ever since. Hey, girl. How was work this morning? Just fine. I've finished checking some paperwork. What about you? Great. Nice job. Same for me. I've been on paperwork all week. But thank God it's almost over. I just feel great. Uh, the idea of working in the office again, you know. Staying at home with my noisy husband was a pain. Ah, including the virus. Plus, I missed you a lot. How have you been? Yeah, I can imagine. I've been alright, I guess. Some things happened, but uh, nothing worth talking about. What about you? Noisy husband apart, I mean. I feel like I'm rejuvenated. It feels still feels strange and unusual, but working together again, seeing people we love, it's really great. I'm very jealous. I'm very, very jealous. The skin of my hand started peeling because of the sanitizers, you know? I wonder what they put in those things. Yeah, it is, but, uh, what is it? I understand what you mean, but I feel awful. Why? Did something bad happen? Not really. Still, I can't help but think about the people who've lost their jobs and their loved ones, the homeless people I see in the street uh, pass by, all the sadness and loneliness on everyone's faces. That doesn't mean we can't be cheerful about our own daily life, does it? This was written by a teenager. <laughs> what matters is that we're safe and happy. We can't do much about the others. I know. I'm just scared of the repercussions, that's all. Look, I do understand it. However, let's just talk about something else, okay? Yeah, we should. Listen, there has been something on my mind lately. I don't really know how to say this. Um, are you going to do something about those bags under your eyes? Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm sorry to bring that up, but they're kind of... They're, they're, they kind of scare the clients. They scare the clients? What do you mean? I heard that some people lately are frightened by your appearance. Wow. They say you're creeping them out. It's just rumors, but maybe you could take it as advice. Uh, what do you think I should do? Wow, that's just blanked out. I'm not allowed to choose that one. That's quite cool. Maybe that's because of my earlier decisions, or maybe that's just an on-rails decision of the game. But it seems kind of effective to, like, pretend to give you the, uh, the idea. It's none of your business, isn't it? Oh, well, I was just looking out for you, but there's no need to get upset. I'm just worried about your health. If you don't take care of yourself, you might collapse during work. That would be a problem, don't you think? You should really drink more often. I've never seen you with a glass of water. And you should definitely get more sleep. I will see. Thanks for worrying about me. You look kind of sad lately. What is it? I've been having strange dreams. What are they about? The end of everything. Cities flooded by water. Human extinction. Mm, that's not good. I read somewhere that dehydration can make you hallucinate, so drink more. All right. By the way, have you heard the news? What news? 
Ooh. What the hell? Starting from next week, I'll become the management director. It's a fish person with barnacles on her head. I'm so excited. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, ever since I graduated, I've been hoping to find a good job and to live a nice and happy life without anyone's help. I really hope that one day you will succeed too. I'm not sure if I'm suited for that. Are you for real? Everyone is suited for a promotion. You should work to seek happiness and independence. This job can't bring me real happiness. I disagree. I think it can. Look at me, I'm satisfied with myself. Proud of all the things I've achieved, of my clients' smiling faces. That's all thanks to me and the work I've done. And what about that intern who jumped off the fifth floor? Jesus. Your experience is yours alone. I don't think that only focusing on your job will bring us happiness. We all will get older and die. Eventually, the world will end. So what's the meaning of all of this? Being this obsessed about work won't take us anywhere. I think you just lack ambition. And I'm sorry to say this, but you won't get too far without it. In this time and age, ambition is all we have left. Without it, we're nothing. You're obviously scared, I understand that. But you can't fall victim to your fears. That This one's, this one's kind of cool. Um, it is very, like, existential, but very on-the-nose existential. I look into her empty, slimy eyes, but that was a really cool transition then to just change everything all at once. Can't help if she really believes in what she's saying. Not falling victim to fear, working to become happy. Those are all perfect and idealistic words, told by someone who doesn't understand my suffering. But if one day everything will be submerged, then she too will. Suddenly, the scenes of my dreams start to play in my head. Something is moving from my stomach. Pushing, working its way through my esophagus. I rush to the bathroom and let out everything. Back to the guy. Hey, how are you today? Terrible. I told you, the audio there. I feel sicker than before. Hmm. Sometimes we have to navigate our pain in order to become happier. By saying this, I don't mean it's alright for you to suffer, but only that it may be a part of the process. Yeah, but where will that get me? You want to get rid of the dream, right? You're terrified of it. That's why you react so strongly, why you're so angry, and why you feel the need to expose your view of the world. We all need to freely express ourselves to be more sincere with ourselves and others. That's what you're doing. Maybe the dream itself is pushing you towards this path. So you can really say, can you really say it's a bad dream? Are the things you see in your sleep so evil? I want you to focus on that and understand what you think and feel about it. Don't take these feelings for granted and explore them as much as you can. I'll, I'll think about it. Thanks for your advice as always. I'll try to go get some sleep. Have a good night. Remember, I'm always here for you. She paler again? I'm still so pale. Should I really give in to my dreams? Thank you for playing the demo. We will release more about Oxygen during this month, so follow us on Twitter. T Solitude. I feel like I know that. That's that they did another game as well in one of the uh demo discs, I feel. I've played one of their games before is what I feel like. That one was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> 